Well, guess who I got back in the building? Miss Sheree Moore. She trucking. Uh, you, you, you been, uh, well, first thing first, because I haven't talked to you since I've been, since I was sick. So first thing first, I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the love and support and for all the well wishes that you have given me, uh, while I was sick. So thank you very much for that. I, uh, oh, well, I appreciate it. Well, first thing first, man, I mean, you, 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 you was all over, uh, you, you all over the place. You on breaking Bobby Brown, you on, uh, you, you promoting the, uh, you, you promoting the convention this year. And as a matter of fact, guess where I'm at? Where? That well, I'm in Tennessee. Well, if you come to Chattanooga, I want to see you. I I know you I know you wanted I I know you want to, but I think uh, I am in coming to film the expo. Okay, okay. Can I meet you there at the expo. Uh, the you know what? I am not sure. Um, this company that I drive for. You know, they, the way they, the way they, uh, book their loads and run their loads is kind of hard for me to put in a request to get anywhere. I mean, I, I tried putting in requests. I tried put, I tried putting in requests to get, uh, to get to some places and, uh, it never worked out in my favor. So I'm yeah. not, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. And I, I don't want to, you know, being that I just, you know, I'm about, maybe about close to six months in with them. I, I don't want to, I don't want to push them if you know what I mean. So that's, that's slavery. Uh, I'm here to free the slaves. You hear me? <laughs> come, <laughs> come and be free. Okay. <laughs> well, no, come it's not like, free. no, it's not like that. It's, it's not like that. It's a good company. It, it's a good company. Uh, it's an LTL company. And like I said, my, the lows start, and ends at the terminal so it, it's it's pretty much hard to be like yeah I, you know can i get a load down to such and such and such and such and, and you know i gotta give them about a two week to a three week to you know good and all like that good that's a good enough notice <laughs> um but yeah man so man i mean you you just you you just all over the place man let's let's start uh, let's start. Let's let's let everybody know who you are. Which you know you are a friend of the show, and you've been on several times. So let's let everybody know who you are. I am Sheree Moore, the CEO of She Trucking. She Trucking has it's the largest platform for women in the truck transportation industry. Man, let just just listen to that that proudness that. That that boisterous when she says she trucking. Say it again, Sheree. She trucking. <laughs> you can go to she trucking expo dot com to get your ticket to the truck show. You don't want to miss it. If I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. This is gonna be legendary. It's the first minority um, trucking. Expo. That's led and by. That's let's let's get it in there. That's led by a woman. Absolutely. We're making history. And the network is bananas. If you don't know, if you don't elevate out of this conference, it ain't, listen, it's guaranteed to elevate. My now, whole team. Now, now let me ask you this. This is, this is, this is for men and women, right? Lady truckers, male truckers, anybody Absolutely. that's interested, anybody that's interested in the trucking field, this, this is for them, right? Absolutely. This is for everybody. We want men and women to come out. Okay. Uh, right. Right now we got all, a lot of ladies. So men, mm -hmm. bring come on out. Y'all come on out. I know we ain't listen. Let me let me say this. Go ahead. I spent nine years just working. Mm -hmm. Not taking a break. Not taking a vacation. It's been nine years since I took a vacation, and. I realized that we have to take, do stuff. We have to do what we need to do. We have to be able to network amongst one another. We got to be not be afraid to get out that truck. 
Right. That's we and, and and the best freedom that I was able to get was when I was driving for myself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So let me just say that it's my goal to help people that ready that's going to be in this room, like minded, mm-hmm. to be free from being in bondage. Okay. Because I was in it. I, like I told you, it's been nine years. I ain't taking no vacation. I was making excuses saying where I could be. But we one thing about us truckers is we never get our way. Nah, we don't. I mean, even with, you know, I'm, I'm talking to drivers now. And, you know, it's, you know, the field that I'm in, you know, I, I like I, I like to talk to people and all like that. But I'm, I'm finding it real, real difficult to like, you know, to talk to drivers. Like when I pull, you know, when I do my pull ups and, you know, I like to talk to drivers, you know, ask them questions and stuff like that. But I'm finding it real, real difficult to 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 talk to some of them because they so I, I don't know. They 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 so into themselves. They so reserved. They don't want to they it's like they don't want to be 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 bothered. But for the few that I do get, you know, for the few that I do get to talk to, it's a beautiful thing because you get to, you know, you get to, you know, you get to share some of these stories that's you know, that's, that's prevalent in their, you know, in their life. So just to hear some of them to be like, you know, I never got a chance to, you know, get out of the truck and actually enjoy life. I've been driving for, you know, 20 years, uh, you know, 20 years, 30 years, you know, close to 40 years. And they yeah. never got, they never got out of the truck to like really enjoy life. And I'm asking them, I'm talking to them about now about driver burnout, you know, the, you know, I'm and asking- that's why this event is so important. I'm trying to tell you, I should, I was one of them drivers. Mm-hmm. I know that's why I put an event together. So not only is it beneficial for you to get out the truck, mm-hmm. but this is truck appreciation week. First of all, mm-hmm. everybody get a 34 hour reset. Mm-hmm. And that's everybody not, get a 10 hour be, break. And to be honest with you, that, you thir- that 34 that, parking. that you know, that 34 hour reset right there, that 34 hour reset ain't even enough time. Especially when you're working for a company that loves to eat the clock, if you know what I mean. Well, as let me just say this. As drivers, it is good if we go to our company and say, Hey, we would like for you to be a part of this, okay? Because it's truck appreciation week, and I, and I feel like it's more that needs to be done for drivers and give them a hat and a t-shirt. If you can't be uh, all for truck appreciation week, come on now. That's our week. We offer other holidays, Christmas and all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? My but this this is a trucker's holiday. My They're gonna put. You said a hat and a t-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it looks like every it, it looks like every trucker's appreciation week every year is is basically the same thing. You know, we you know the hat, the t shirt, the 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 pins from from all of these you know truck stops and all like that, and all of the you know all of the non sequential stuff that they'd be like, well, yeah, we appreciate you, but what about some extra money? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, what and, about what about that? You know, I mean, what what I'm going to do with a pen? You know, except for it's just going to be another pen in my in my cup holder with just Pilot Flying J T, uh, T A or whatever's on there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, how about how about how about sliding us uh, some some funds? Hit me up in the hit me up hit me up in the. Uh, in the uh, cash app, you know what I'm saying? Slide, you know, slide something my way. You know, let's I'm show, let's show the drivers. Let's show the drivers. You know, this, you know the companies. You know, let's show the drivers some love. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we're doing at the She Trucking Expo because we cannot expect these companies to do it for us anymore. They're not doing it. They're gonna give you a hat and a t-shirt, and and they're gonna grill for you. And send your ass right back to work. So, <laughs> you say slide your ass right back to work. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. So what, what we have done is we actually have a sponsor. 
Mm-hmm. That said that they would donate a thousand dollars. So people were gonna get five hundred dollars um at this expo. Random people. I don't know who it's gonna be. Okay. But you gotta be in the building. We got Blue Tiger, who is one of our sponsors. They sponsor five thousand dollars worth of headset. Okay. You okay. got to be in the building. You say you got, you say you we got to Roll be in Pro, the building. which is the pilot and Flying J. Uh, they're giving away gift cards to drivers. Mm-hmm. But you got to be in the building. All the hard work. And I'm going to tell y'all, it was a lot of companies that said, no, we do not want to support the drivers. Mm. Let me just be honest. Okay? But I know, but I got, a, I got discouraged. It made me depressed. Mm. Because I'm like, these drivers deserve everything. Right. Because y'all have been loyal to the road. Y'all have worked through the pandemic. We still going through the pandemic. Sure y'all is. still working. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's time to be shown real appreciation. Okay. It's time for us as minorities to come together. Because huh. what event have we been to that is a minority? event where it gives us the opportunity to come together in transportation how how hard was it for you to you know listen listening to you uh with the passion that you're giving about this event and the passion for you know drivers male and female alike well how hard was you how hard was it for you to to get this event together i mean uh you know you you mentioned that uh that a lot of places said no but this is a lot of you know this is a lot of places that's in the transportation industry that claims that they're you know that they care for the drivers but yet you know a woman a black woman an independent woman that's putting a a a big event such as this magnitude together why wouldn't they want to why wouldn't they want to support this If just think about it, first, why wouldn't a driver want to support it? Mm. I expect the companies to be that way. I know who I am. Mm. I'm a black woman in this industry trying to make a change and a difference and help people. Mm-hmm. It's going to be some that support, it's going to be some that don't. Mm. Yeah, I live in America, right? Mm-hmm. But guess what? That ain't that, that we're still going to accomplish. Our goal with those who understand our mission. And it's so many. Right now, we got 70 vendors. That means that's 70 people who want to help and give you the resources you need. We got everything transportation, brokerages. We have um, dispatchers. We have trucking. Co- Freightliner is one of our sponsors. Okay, Freightliner. Freightliner. If you want to talk to Freightliner and say, Freightliner, I need wow. a truck. You can talk to Freightliner, okay? How did I'm you? How how, how 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 was you? What was the? What was the, now? I don't want you to give away all your secrets or anything like that. But what was the legwork that you had to go through in order to to, to pull companies like Freightliner? I I know the I know Blue Carrot. You know you probably could hit them up on Instagram and be like, no, look, no, 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 uh, no, oh, Blue oh, Tiger. Oh, Blue, Blue Tiger. Tiger. Blue Tiger. Listen. Okay. It ain't just hitting nobody up on Instagram. No. It's when you have the value that matches the company. Blue Tiger, let me just be, let me put this out there. It's owned by a black woman, okay? What? So when you're trying to pick your headset, pick Blue Tiger. Okay, okay. Blue Tiger owned by a black woman. Shout out to uh, Blue Tiger. <laughs> you know, shout out to Blue Tiger headset. All right. Um. All right, so what what was some of the legwork that you had to do to 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 pull some of these companies to to support this uh the support your event? A lot, a lot. It, it's a, it takes a lot, y'all. It's not easy. Um, a lot. I mean, a lot of you know. I don't even know where to start. Okay, <laughs> it's, I think it started seven years ago when I first started driving. Because at the end of the day, I'm a driver just trying to help other drivers. Right. So from people understanding who I am and what I'm trying to do, all the way up to writing the letters, to putting things out. She. Uh oh. Hello. 
My uh, goal, like I said, is to be able to pour in, give out scholarship, help people get started into this industry. Also, take the people who in the industry and elevate them to ownership. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's my goal. I want to see everybody own a truck. Now, you know, I'm talking to drivers now. Uh, let uh, Before we move on, uh, let, let them know when the event is and where is it being held. Ah, I am going through the backwoods right now. Hold on. All right. Hello. Hello. All right. Yeah, I'm going through the backwoods right now. So my my bars is kind of like going up and down, up and down. But uh, Sheree, before we move on, um, let let them know when, when, where and what other good stuff they need to know about this event that's coming up. Okay, it's in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Your hometown. Trucker, uh, yes, right here. They call this Freight Alley because we have over 30 brokerages in Chattanooga. Okay, mm -hmm. so a lot of the freight that y'all are moving come out of Chattanooga. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to get with the brokerages to make sure we can get some loads coming straight in here mm -hmm. because this is Freight Alley. I want you to drive into Freight Alley. And so um, it's, the, it's Trucker Appreciation Week. September the 17th through the 19th. Mm -hmm. uh, we have free truck parking at exit number one that's on the Tennessee Georgia line. Mm -hmm. It's the Camp Jordan um, RV parking, but it's huge. It's, I have over 100 parking spaces, probably 200 parking spaces. Okay. We are bringing our semi trucks on the inside. This is not your, your average event, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a trade show. Okay. So we're going to have trucks on the inside. We got show trucks, regular trucks, you know, different people bringing their equipment. We not only have semi trucks, but we got box trucks and cargo vans. Okay. So we're talking about all things transportation. Mm -hmm. We have that man, some of the most phenomenal industry leaders in the industry coming. We got truck and hustle podcast doing a podcast live. Okay. At this event, it's gonna be a driver panel that 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 he does. I need the drivers in the room, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna have so many speakers. The mayor is coming to open up this event for us. So thank y'all for the work that you do, okay? So we need we want to also start a convoy as we come in. We have been asked to bring in a convoy. So we need the drivers to come in. We need you to talk to your company and say, I want to be a part of this. This is historic. We have CNN that is coming to film this because it's historic. Okay? It's a historic moment. And this is a, it's going to be life changing and you don't want to miss it. Um, day one on Friday, we have the expo where you can listen to the speakers and the exhibitors and get all your free stuff and eat good and all that good stuff and then we have a truck and paint event okay if you heard of sipping paint mm -hmm. and so we paint the easels and all that stuff uh we're gonna do that to address mental health because let me tell you i was in that truck got out the truck i got depressed and the thing that helped me during my depression was being able to listen to music and paint and so we have um i already paid for over 300 people to be able to paint Okay, so we need the drivers in the building. I'm looking for 300 drivers. And so we also have um, our Black Tie Gala. Now, that's VIP only. We're not selling any more tickets because it's exclusive to people, like-minded people to be in the room. You know, we want like-minded people in the room because I'm bringing my network to you. I'm bringing people with their own 40 trucks. I'm bringing people that has the huge, the big growth of it. I'm bringing, it's going to be a room full of empowerment. Everybody in the industry who is somebody will be in that room. Trust and believe me. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to sail down the Tennessee River after that. And that, that is a, 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 a full dinner with Sally, full of entree. My girl say Sally. <laughs> Sally. Okay, we gotta get our greens in. Salad. And a dessert. 
Oh, man, sure and right. then on Sunday, mm-hmm. Sunday is the truck appreciation cookout. And that right there is just a family fun. Bring your fishing rod. Bring your appetite. They say fishing rise and appetite. That's what's up. The She Trucking uh, Conference event, uh, Truckers Appreciation Week in uh, September. Make sure you guys be there. Uh, Sheree, man, uh, let's let's talk a little bit more about you and what you've been doing as of late, man. You know, shout out to the National Geographic. How how did breaking what, what's his name? Bobby Brown, Bobby Barnes. His name is. It's Bobby Bones. Bobby it's called Bones. Breaking Bobby Bones. It how, is on National Geographic. How how did um, they how how did they link up with you to to do that episode? So the so Bobby Bones is a celebrity who has been on Dancing with the Stars. He's been on um he has now with his own TV show. He has a radio show as well. Mm-hmm. He's been breaking Bobby Bones, and then um look for episode number eight, which is Truck Star. Okay, right. National Geographic reached out to me and asked wow. me if I wanted to do the show, and I was like, "No, I don't." <laughs> Hold on, hey, Sheree, are are you are you on your Bluetooth? You on a speakerphone, or what? What are you on right now? Because I, I'm, it, you're muffling out a little bit. Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Perfect. Whatever you just did, keep it like that. Okay. But they asked me if I want to do the TV show. I said, no, why? Because I don't want to do that type of stuff no more. Right. You know, I'm going to be honest. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. And I'm tired. You say you've been I'm there, getting ready to that. retire. Right. So I need y'all at this event. Before I retire, I need to see everybody. Okay. okay we're supposed to be family. This is the family reunion. Okay. Okay. So what, what changed your mind? What, did Bobby Bones call you himself? No, but all his producers did. Jesus, they all called me, and they all talked me into doing it. And let me tell you, I'm glad I did because I don't know if you saw it. It's you can go to YouTube, look up Breaking Bobby Bones, see the episode. It's just a dollar ninety nine. Okay. It ain't no link that I can send nobody because it's real television. But let me tell you something. It has inspired so many people. It was very helpful. And so many people telling me that they in trucking school right now because they saw the episode yes, of me uh, teaching him how to drive the truck. First, I had to help him get a CDL permit. Mm-hmm. He failed twice because he didn't want me to help him. And then once I did help, he passed. OK, so we got the CDL permit and then we went on to the back and I teach him how to back up. You see me on TV teaching him how to drive yeah. and then we go deliver a load of eggs. Okay, it also tells my story of what I went through of uh, being in my car wreck because I want to let people know that instantly one one day something can change. Yeah. And at that moment, that's, I realized that I wasn't a life changer. Right. And I realized I wasn't cross training. I didn't know nothing else. So it, that's why this event is going to be important, because we're teaching you that what options you have. Not to in, in case something in case of an emergency, you know you got to have some options. What's your plan B looking like? And you What's know, the exit strategy? You know, let 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 me stop you right there. there. There's not a there's there's not too many truckers that's coming into this industry, especially the new jacks. And 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 I, I fell victim to this too. You know, there's 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 not an option out. There's not a plan B. You know, you get in this truck, something happened to you. Like what happened to me? I mean, I fell sick, and what what happened? What what would have happened to me if you know it was it was too it would have been too prevalent of me not getting back in this truck? Then what? You know what I'm saying? I I don't have nothing else to fall back on. So, you know, hopefully the new jacks that's coming in, that's you know listening to your story, hearing my story. Uh, hopefully they'll be like, oh, okay, well I'm gonna get in this truck maybe a couple of years. Then in a couple of years, I'll put something together. Uh, I'll probably need to save up my money, put something together so that I can have a fallback plan. So I can have a plan B. And that's why people need to come to this event. Uh oh. Because not you, only you far, are you, we going. You, you far away from the speaker again. Sorry. <laughs> I said, and this, this is. This uh, is why people need to come to this event. 
mm-hmm. because we you don't have to wait five years like I did. We're going to help you now. I don't want people to wait and be looking for the answers and trying and trying to figure it out by yourself. No, we got people to help you. I didn't build this network for people not to get help. No, we want to help all of our men and women. I guess I got, allow us to help you, but you got to take you got to sacrifice sometimes. Right. You got to be in the room. Whether terminal let us fly you out whatever it's gonna take but we gotta get in the right rooms y'all that is the key to this and and i'm trying to tell you during truck appreciation week if you really want to be shown appreciation come be in channel tennessee that's what's up all right so sheree we we did we did national geographic's breaking bobby bones we we got the book, man. Let's talk about let's talk about the book for a little bit. You uh, what, what's the book about? Is this like uh, uh, uh what what is it? An open book about your life? What, what's this book about? No, this book is a. I love it. It's called Building a Legacy by Sheree Moore. You can get it on Amazon. This book tells you about how to get into the transportation industry it tells a little bit about my life and my story but it also tells you how to get your own truck and on your own which you can get your own authority and, and it also break down the industry about the different trailers and different trucks and it really i just put everything in there that no one was talking about back in the day or that you something you you know, giving to the people where people charging high dollars to give this information. I just wrote it in my book. Man, Sheree, I mean, back back in the day when you started, you know, when you started this, you know, this journey of yours, have you ever thought that it was going to get this 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 expeditionally big? Oh no, I did not. It was. I was just trying to create a T-shirt for us. <laughs> okay, I was not dreaming of having. And going through this, because there's been a lot of ups and downs. There's been a lot of trial and error. There's been a lot of headache and heartache. You know, I'm still fighting for y'all right now. Like saying, like, come on, y'all. I got the I'm the pl- I got the plug. I can't let me give it to you. You know, let me give it to you before I retire. And if that makes sense, okay? And I expire. Because we don't know about these days. So now you let know, us help you out. You 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 mentioned that there was a lot of up and downs, and you 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 came across some heavy adversary. Um, you 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 was in, you was involved in controversy as you know maybe about several months back, where all the time. Uh, yeah, you I'm involved. always gonna be involved in con- in controversy. It was a gentleman. But I also- we, we would we would keep his name nameless. Uh, the, that was speaking on a, a female driver that was missing, or that was that was killed. I'm not sure which one it was. No, no, it was she was raped. She was raped. It was a female driver and a rape, and we have resources for that. Mm-hmm. So let me just speak on that because we have re- we have put resources because we deal with that consistently mm-hmm. with finding help for people when they are raped or abuse in this industry um the name of the organization is real women in trucking i'm a member of it we sit on fmcsa boards we in a room of policies and procedures and we definitely have a team of lawyers to help drivers and also they just won a case against cr england where another black woman was raped a couple about a month ago okay so we was trying to come and help this lady because we you know, a lot of people don't understand what's going on on that side and how to really fight it to win. And you got we have to put adversary. good policies yeah, and you, procedures to say that it's a zero tolerance. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, atmosphere so we can be protected as women on the road. Exactly. But see, we got to have real conversations. Now, you know, real conversations. Now, what with, with that said, what that said, you, you came to, to try to come to the aid of of this young lady but uh, again the guy was were named nameless came and and kind of like baller blot you like what yeah why, why you know what i learned mind my business okay so now i'm minding the business that pays me 
Now, let me just say, if y'all want help, holler at us. She trucking, real women in trucking. If you don't want help, it's okay. We're not here. We can't help everybody. So I did learn that I don't get paid to be able to really help people, but I do it out the kindness of my heart. And if you don't want it, I don't force it upon you. This is not something that I do just for the hell of me. This is something that I do because I am a woman and a black woman in trucking. Okay. Does that discourage you when 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 people do when people do that? You know, you 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 try to offer help, and here and and here they are over here trying to, like, okay, we don't need your help, yada yada yada, and then try to start an argument with you and try to bring you out of your character. Does that discourage you when when no. when other people does that? Uh, well sometimes I think about stopping what I'm doing, but at the end of the day, I know that it's so many people. That might have been one incident, isolated incident where a person said, we don't want your help. Now, I look at the other side of it. Without our help, where are you now? Because I know the history record that we have. Miss Desiree Woods, she's the CEO of Real Women in Trucking, and she yeah, has helped so too. many women, so many women throughout the years to be able to get the justice that we fight for every day mm. of protection to make sure that women rights, men rights and just equal rights for everyone is in place. OK, that lady worked hard 10, 11 years. We're going to have an award ceremony as well at this event. And let me say that we're going to highlight people for their work. Uh, we're going to highlight all Truckers United for bringing uh, thousands of truckers together to be able to communicate and talk. We bring in Black Truckers United. That was the first trucking group I got in seven years ago. We bring in out Sovereign Roads because they fight for truck parking and a lot of different policies to be changed for drivers. We also giving out awards to a lot of industry leaders, people who have helped Thousands of people get they uh, own their own trucks, okay, and be and be able to have successful businesses. So we we you know, yeah, that situation didn't work where we could help. It's okay, we can't help everybody. You know, that's not, you know, it, we don't get paid either way. Do that make sense? And that we don't do it for the money. We do money it because we want to help people so they're not in the situation that we was in. Like I said, Desiree Woods, she was in a situation coming into this industry where she was uh, being abused. And so she started her organization to help people. OK, I was in a I was in a situation where I was left stranded on the side of the road without my truck 1500 miles away. So I started a community so we can help people. So if you get stranded or you need some medication or you in a situation where you need some help or you just need some words to get you to the other side of that mountain, we here for you. Okay. So we created things based off of problems that we was having. Right. And so we know we can't reach them all, but at this event, if you in the room, Oh, trust and believe <laughs> you're going to get the help that you need, but we can't help you if you don't get in that room. That's last, the thing. Last but not least, before I let you go, because I know you got a busy day ahead of you. And I do appreciate you taking the time to uh, talk about me, about the events, about your life and everything. Uh, everybody know that you are a friend of the show. So every time you come on, we always have a good time, whether we're talking over the phone or we're doing it live. Um, Let's talk about the She Trucking Facebook group, which I am an honorary male figure there. I'm thinking I'm, I'm I, I don't think I'm the only one, though. I, I don't think I'm the only one. I, I see another name that pops up in there as uh, once in a while. My man, David Copeland. David Copeland's in there. Yeah. We have innovative. Wait a minute, Sheree. Did I start something? Don't tell me I started something. No, it, you know what? This is when the brotherhood meets the sisterhood. <laughs> and you get to see the network. <laughs> so now you get to see the network of people who have, who I admire, people who I respect in this industry. It's about probably about 10 to 20 males now that's in our community. 
We right. have over 17.5 thousand women drivers, but we also have included males like Pierre. We have males like uh, Hood Estates Jamar. We have different people um, that are in our community to be able to help and wait, add value. Wait a minute. Hold up. Because before all of this, this was on, this was a female only only click now. I, what, what was it because of me hollering about that there was no man in your group? Did did I have something to do with that? Well, you know what we we I've always had a couple men in there. Avery Jones, he's been in there first class transportation. Mm -hmm. He's been in there since I started this community. Okay. Different drivers have been in there since I started the community. They don't always speak, but if if a situation happened where they can help somebody, they jump right in. There you go. So we have always been, uh, 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 you know, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, you know, a just woman only type of person. You know, a lot of men have paved the way, and that's that's very knowledgeable in this industry. My mentor, Mr. Thomas Johnson, he owns 27 trucks, and he literally. Um, He's in that community, you know, and he offers a lot of value. We help a lot of women elevate as long as as well as Adam Whitfield. And that real turn is this. I was able to I've mentored one of the ladies and it's been three years now. And I started with her before she got into the trucking industry. We got a permit her cdl license all the way up to her getting uh matched up with one of our trainers uh through our free mentorship program she got and went through training she got in her own truck now she owns her own truck has her authority i told her at that point now that you have your truck and you own your authority and then all this happened within two years okay at the time i said now i can't help you no more now, in order for you to scale up and maximize your money, I got to pass you on to my brother with Innovative. Innovative put a strategy plan together to be able to help her increase her revenue. This lady is real good. Okay, the power of mentorship. I want to encourage everyone to have a mentor because what you don't know, you just a question away sometimes from asking the right person exactly. to be able to scale up to maximize your money. Right now, drivers are looking at if you literally own your own truck, you can make about ten grand per week or now, more now in know, the truck right now, now. Now you know you 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 definitely be putting people in contact with the right people, and I, I commend you. I commend you for that, uh, Sheree. You you always. You, you, your, you, your mind is always forward thinking, you know, for any, anybody, male or female, that's, 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 that, that needs that little push or that little help. And again, as far as the group goes, it's, 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 it's an awesome group. I mean, you got a diverse, uh, when I came in there, uh, you, you got a diverse group of, of, of women in there with, with different backgrounds uh that comes in there that, that that looks for advice encouragement and and all sorts of things there's some there's some kind of there's kind of you know some uh, some ugliness but you i gotta admit you and your and your administrative strap staff on she's trucking y'all you guys is is always on that you know to to curve any negativity that goes on in Man, we have an amazing team. Um, one of the ladies who just came on, her name is Dollface Trucker. Mm -hmm. She's now on our moderator team. We all going through leadership training. Not only do we put people in position, but we also give them the tools and resources by putting them in training to be leaders. You know, that was one thing I said. I said, I just got thrown into this situation and I wasn't prepared. So I want to make sure that my team is prepared to be able to handle any situation. I, and keep you know, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. And, and just to be able to keep that professionalism, to be able to continue to keep helping people. That's so we definitely invest into our education and educating our people. And right. um, and so, yeah, the, the, the community is amazing. It's, it's helped so many people. 
give it. I'm, oh, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to catch you when you on your break when you talking, <laughs> so that I won't over talk you. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You can go ahead. <laughs> uh, give it up to uh, to uh, Dow Face Trucker. She's a uh, she's a friend of the show as well, and she, you know, her her bad story is is kind of crazy too. She she finally land a company that that she she wholeheartedly loves and and she supports and 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 really uh uh promoting the company uh that company being variant uh me and dialface just recently uh had an episode uh talking about variant but you know i, I had dialface on uh years ago when she was going through her troubles with multiple companies that she wasn't even able to put a footprint on but now you know now we're variant you know with her little time there you know that will probably turn out to be you know her her end all be all company and for you to you know for you to you know reach out to her or her reaching out to you and getting her you know involved with she trucking that that's a good that's that's a good move so shout out shout out to you and her absolutely we won't you know that I, like i said i've been this is my fourth year you know with she truck and we're going to our fifth year and the women that's in this industry that that's that's all about integrity that's all about that's fighters i look for women that can fight with their tongue that, that that's willing to take a leap of faith like like she did and say no I don't I want structure. I want stability. And I want to be treated like a human being while driving this truck. Right. And so I'm going to choose who who not afraid to go through the trials and tribulations but also come out and help other people. Those are the type of people that I look for to put them in leadership. Um we have Miss Wanda, Miss Valerie, we have Miss Jennifer Edwards, we have some of the most amazing people, Lala, and some of the most amazing people that run that community. And that's why our community is like it is. It's the largest community in the, in the world for women. Exactly. You know, it's nothing bigger than us. So we want to make sure that, you know, it's important for me to pick people. And if you're out here and you're saying, I want to be a part, I want to be a leader, let us help you. Just reach out to us, let us know. Cause we we love to get more people in and set and help them be able to uh, get into leadership roles and leadership positions as well. Also, before I go, I want to talk about what's coming up. So I don't know when we get into that, cause I got some news to tell everybody. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you guys, if y'all interested more on uh, she trucking, definitely go to the Facebook group. The only Facebook group that's that's uh, that's for women, that's made by women, that's geared uh, towards women. The She Trucking uh, Facebook group on uh, on Facebook. All right, uh, Sheree, before you get on up out of here, like you said, and again, I appreciate you uh, giving us the time to talk with us. Um, what 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 what's the exciting news? What's up? So, um, CNN reached out again. We was just on CNN back in March. They reached out again and said, we want you on, this, on the show. So, I'm flying out next week to New York City. I'm going to be on a TV show called Cha uh, Champions for Change. And it's hosted by Aaron Brunette. If you ever watched CNN and saw the Aaron Brunette show, then you then they're gonna be um creating this show called champion for change and like i said they're gonna be also highlighting this event because it's a historic event now don't wait till i die y'all and say oh my god this is what she was doing i need y'all to be a part of it we well, this is no competition this is all about collaborating this is all about bringing people in the room and to the table okay we want you there Okay, we want everyone there. We we have reserved a space that hosts over six thousand people. Because how do, I go. How do you feel? How, how do you feel about uh, the the people? And I I see more from females than I do guys. Uh, that that gives you like competition. That gives you negativity towards what you're doing and what you're about. 
Um, <clears throat> I don't have a lot of big issues, I guess. Uh, I mean, you know, we humans, so it's going to be people who like you, people who don't. You know, people who understand you, people who don't. You. you know, so I don't take it to heart. Right. We're gonna keep on with the mission, y'all. We're gonna keep on with the mission. So when 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 is this uh you you flying out next week, but when when do you think the episode is gonna be? The episode will air in September, right after the truck appreciate like I said, they coming to film it. Mm -hmm. And then after that, after they get done filming it, it'll go on TV. So it'll it'll be airing the uh third week in September. That's what's up. That's what's up. Sheree, thank you very much. Uh, have you ever thought about doing a doing a reality show? Uh, you know, have you ever thought about that? You know, going on T uh, like TBS or 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 A and E or something like that to do uh to do a to do a TV show. Have you a lot of TV shows have M from MGM to Bravo. Um, different people throughout the years have asked for us to do a reality show. I will not do one. I've said no for years, and I because uh, I, these are the last things I'm doing. And I'm gonna be honest. I am literally putting people in position to take the front, to take the lead. As I sit back, okay, and be able to be of guidance, of service to them. But these are the last things that I'm doing as I fade out of the spotlight <laughs> okay. um, and bring other women in, other women up, other women to share their stories. And I want to say thank you for helping uh, highlight those stories in our community. I appreciate thank you for being a part of our community. You're welcome. You're very welcome. And I that, thank you for letting me for uh letting for letting me be a part of the uh story because like i said when we started in the beginning i i've been trying to i've been trying to uh get you for you know for a long time and when you blessed the uh, the first episode of the uh of pod you know of when i was getting started with my podcast i i was i was very excited uh and then me and you grew uh me and you grew together and we became, you know, we became friends and all like that. We never met each other. But, you know, like I said, uh, you know, I, I, I said in, in one of my videos that, you know, that that friend term is kind of like, you know, is 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 a strong word to give somebody, especially to somebody that you don't know. And I always say that once you slap hands with that person and you look that person in the eye and, and get a vibe from them, then you can give them that word, uh, that word friend. But, but as far as you go, I mean, you know, we, we've been back and forth with each other since we've been conversating. Uh, you supported me every step of the way. So I am happy to say that you're my friend. So thank you very much. Oh, you so sweet. Listen, you always got a friend in me. And let me just say this, as you said, we got to look each other in the eye. I, so I'll see, I will see you September the 17th through the 19th. We're going to work on this because we you, we need you to stream the podcast. We need to highlight you as one of our honorary attendees. Uh, okay. Thank you. At this I, show. I will try. So I, talk I, to I, your company. I would, I will try. I, I will try. We'll, I will try. I will see what, uh, I'll see what I can do. Talk to your company. And, I, and and let me just say, y'all, if y'all literally want to come to this event, this is what I want y'all to do. I want you to talk to the company. I want you to say, let me give you she trucking phone number. Let me give you she trucking email address. If they say no, we don't understand what's going on. Let us talk to your company to help you be the representation for your company. This is an event for drivers. You hear me? So they can support what you're doing as well. Why? Because every company needs drivers. So we can definitely highlight them, highlight your company, just like we're doing for Variant. Variant is one of the companies who said, we would love to sponsor this event. I said, well, cool. Let's work together. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, that we're going to we send in plenty of drivers to Variant. So we want to make sure that if you want to be there, that we help you get there. 
um, drivers, if you are a driver and you don't have a ticket to this event, just come in. Bring your license, okay? People are going to be at the door. You can show them your CDL license and walk in, okay? If you want to participate in all the activities, then you have to have a ticket so we can do a head count, all right. okay? Because this event is uh, not your average event, and it was very, very expensive. <laughs> I will say that. I can <laughs> so, imagine. <laughs> I can imagine how expensive this is, man, but... <laughs> with what well, you have been blessed with, uh, you know, this year and, you know, during the pandemic and all like that, you know, you, you was able to make some good communications and all like that. So um, a lot of people came together to sponsor, uh, you know, so hopefully a lot uh, of people did. Yeah. Hopefully this will become a, a, a annual event, just like the regular, like the other trust shows, you know, if drivers show up absolutely it will be annually if drivers do not show up and it's no purpose for me to keep doing it that's you. what i'm doing it for i got you that is what's up all right well sheree moore thank you very much man you take it easy and uh you have a blessed day and uh and again thank you for everything that you do uh for everything that you do thank you for for supporting me do you know doing my time you know my time in need and uh i i appreciate you you take it easy you too and i love y'all and there ain't nothing y'all can do about it <laughs> you say ain't nothing they can do about it <laughs> <laughs> you know mom deuce mom deuce love say that all the time i love you and ain't nothing you can do about it <laughs> yeah all right you take it easy i'll talk to you later okay all right. all right thank you you're welcome searching 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 and searching